Hey guys, right today I'm going to be doing these neon um, vertical graduated um, nails with a bit of um, embossed leopard print on them and I'm going to be using these six pigments today from Glitterati Nails and they're on eBay. So if you want to know how to create this then just stay tuned. Okay, so you'll be needing a base coat of white and I'm going to be using Cream Puff, um, which is C&D Shellac. And then to add a bit of sparkle, I'm also going to be using Ice Vapor to go over the top. You're also going to be needing some foil for the embossing. Now I've gone for a graduated foil because I think it looks really cool. So if, I don't know if you can see it goes from purple to a dark blue to a light blue to a green. And I've got this from Mega Mix Nails. And I'll put the link to that in the description box. Uh, I'm going to be doing two nails today. So I'm just going to be doing a yellow and green ombre and two types of pink ombre. So you'll be needing a brush to apply them with. And then for the leopard print, you're going to be needing either a very, very thin stylus or if you prefer, you can use a brush, which I'm going to be using today. And this is a micro styler, zero, 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 zero. So I'll get my pops ready and we'll get started. I just wanted to quickly show you what the pigments look like on their own, just over cream puff. And they are neon, but they're more of a pastel neon. It's not coming quite across on camera, but they are really, really bright. So that's those on their own. Right, so I'm going to get my first colour pop here, and all we're going to be doing is a vertical ombre, so we're going to be doing one colour on one side and one on the other. So, just need to pat them in, or brush them in, however you want to do it. Just on one half, and then do the green on the other side. To make these colours really stand out, they are best used over a white base. So I'm just going to start blending those in the middle now. That's that's one done. It's quite that light's really bright. I don't know if you can see that. <clears throat> and then I'll do the other one with the pink. And these are really nice to work with. So you can add these to acrylic powder mixes or clear gel. To make them into like a gel polish. And you don't have to add these over shellac, you can put them over any gel polish. Okay, so there's the pink and sort of like a corally pink, the other one. You see that. Right, so I'm going to put my pots away and then I'll come okay, back. So what I'm going to do now to add a bit of sparkle and just to seal in the pigments, I'm going to use um, ice vapour. And you want to float it over the top just so you don't pull the pigments off. And this gives a really nice sparkle. If you didn't want it as sparkly as this, you could use silver VIP status over the top instead. But I want it really sparkly, so I'm going for ice vapour. Or you could use gold VIP status actually, that would look nice as well. Or even grapefruit sparkle if you wanted it really subtle. Okay, so I'm going to pop those in the lamp now for two minutes. Okay, so they're cured, so I'm just going to remove this sticky layer because we're going to be adding foil and we don't want it to stick to any other part of the nail. 
And don't worry about it coming off because it shouldn't do because it's cured. So we're just going to wipe the sticky layer off. So now I'm just going to go with my black pool, which I've just decanted on my tile, which is looking a bit a little bit worse for wear. But and then I'm just going to use my fine detail brush and do some animal print. So also you can do any animal print. I'm just going to do leopard print today or cheetah print. I don't know what you call it. Um, which is basically sort of little C shapes or brackets. Um, there's no really any right or wrong way how to do leopard print, I don't think. But you want it to be quite um, raised because you want the foil to stick to it. So I'll just show you with this one and then I'll do the other one off camera. I don't want to fill the whole, um, all the spaces because we can fill those in with like little dots and accents etc. And if you're not confident in doing leopard print then just maybe practice on paper first just to get your shapes right. <clears throat> so you can see, yeah, zebra stripes or tiger stripes, um, whatever you like. But I think this is like a really funky look because it's sort of like the acid, acid neon colours with a bit of leopard print. So once you've got it sort of covered, we can go into the spaces and just put a few dots or like little bracket shapes. Like that. So I'm happy with that. So I'll go and do the other one and then cure those for two minutes. Okay, so they're cured now and they look really nice just like that actually. But I'm just going to add obviously another dimension by embossing them. So as I say, I'm going to use in this foil. So I just cut off two pieces there. And then just decide how you want your graduation. So I want mine to go from the purple down to the bluey green on this one. So all you need to do is stick it on and then just press and you'll feel the foil lifting as it's stuck to the the black pool. So there we go. Right, and there are a few places where it has come off if you can see, but that's really easy to tidy up and I'll show you that in a moment. So that's that one. And then this one, I'll reverse it so I'll go in that way and do it from the green to the purple. Okay, so that one's come out a lot better. Yes, yeah, so if you wanted to clean up, all you need to do is just get a bit of IPA on a brush and then just go into the spaces and just clean it like that. And it comes away really, really easily. I think that was all the cleanup I needed to do on there. So there you go. So that's perfect now. So yeah, what I'll do now is I'll top coat those and come back and show you the finished. Results. So these are the finished designs. These were the ones I did earlier and these have had silver VIP. So there isn't as much sparkle, but you can see the leopard print with the foil a lot better on those. You can see that slight sparkle there. And then these were the ones I did with ice vapour. So you just need to decide how sparkly you want them. Um, but these look really, really nice. I'm really pleased how these turned out. So if you wanted to go and check out um, Glitterati Nails on eBay, as I say, I'll leave all the links in the description box. And I'll also leave the links to the foil as well. Um, so thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.